Hello everybody and welcome back. We're still with the respiration and today we have an experiment to illustrate the evolution of carbon dioxide during the aerobic respiration from the non-green parts of the plant. And by the non-green parts of the plant I mean the seeds. So that the seeds do not contain any chlorophyll and though they are not considered a green part of the plant, they are non-green part of the plant. And despite this fact, they produce carbon dioxide during the aerobic respiration. And we'll prove that. We will have three apparatuses. They are the three um, almost the same. So this is the first one. The first one, as we can see, is a retort with its end dipped in a, a beaker. This beaker contains potassium hydroxide and the retorts uh, head contains a group of dry seeds. They are not germinating seeds. They are still dry. This is the first apparatus. Okay, the second one. Uh, here we have also a retort with a snack dip in a beaker. Uh, this beaker contains sodium chloride instead of potassium hydroxide and also we have your seeds but these seeds are germinating seeds they are not um, dry seeds so these seeds are actually growing um, okay the third one this is the third and also we have a retort with a snake dip in the beaker this beaker contains potassium hydroxide just like the first one while the seeds here are just like the second one, germinating seeds. So, these three retorts will be uh, left for um, some time in order to perform the respiration. And we will observe the results. We will notice that the solution of potassium hydroxide will rise in the third retort, which contains germinating seeds. Uh, it's uh, level will rise through the neck of the retort while the two others it won't. So why is this? Here we have an interpretation for this part. In the first retort we had dry seeds. So these dry seeds do not respire. Um, they are kind of dead. They are not respiring. They are not active. So they do not perform respiration and so, carbon dioxide is not produced and no changes happen in apparatus 1. In apparatus 2, we have germinating seeds, while these germinating seeds respire actively and they produce carbon dioxide. But because the sodium chloride doesn't absorb the carbon dioxide, the gaseous exchange happens in the part of the uh, germinating seeds and the volume stays constant because the equal amount of carbon dioxide is produced as an equal amount of oxygen is absorbed so the volume stays constant and no changes happen this is, this is for the second one the third one contains germinating seeds they respire and they produce a carbon dioxide and because this potassium hydroxide is able to absorb the reduced carbon the uh, level of the potassium hydroxide rises up as it absorbs the produced carbon dioxide and so the level rises up and the change takes place and this indicates that carbon dioxide is uh, evolved during the aerobic respiration so we conclude three things from this experiment one dry seeds do not respire second germinating seeds or the um, Lively seeds, the active seeds that carry out the respiration, uh, they produce carbon dioxide during this process. And the last is that the amount of carbon dioxide produced during the uh, process of respiration is equal to the amount of the absorbed oxygen during the process of respiration. And that's why the level of the uh, sodium chloride didn't rise in the retort because no volume changes happened in this uh, apparatus. So this was our experiment today. The next time we will have the same experiment but dealing with the green parts of the plant, the stem and the leaves. And until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.